everybody. So today I'm going to be doing my favorites of 2015. So this is just basically stuff that I really, really liked. And actually a lot of the stuff is kind of hit pan or pretty much empty because I've been using it basically the entire year. Alright, the first thing I want to show you guys is this. And what is my favorite eyeshadow of 2015? I think 2015 we saw a lot of cool things like for example the Vice 4 and everything like that. But I think something that I have been just totally loving is the Lancome Hypno Star Eyes palettes that you can get. And basically they come in five, five colors and as you can tell I really honestly been hitting pan on this color which is called Brun Au Naturel and I just love this. I, I have a palette for myself and I have a palette for my clients and seriously it is the go-to color choice for all of their looks whether it be a natural look or a catalog shoot and everything like that so I use this a lot and I just love how the eyeshadows are really super smooth and I'm actually wearing it today and it's just basically complementing every single skin tone so if you are confused about what eyeshadow to get and what colors to get, this is pretty much a solid bet. So my favorite eyeliner in 2015 is the Eye Defining Pen by Tom Ford. And this is actually quite interesting because it is very, very long, as you can tell. And I have, it's like a duo ended small little one in the end and long little one in the front. And all of these products, I think I will put in the title, basically things that I would repurchase again. Basically things that I really can't live without. So this is an amazing eyeliner. I think it glides on really smoothly and it's very pigmented and black. Eyebrows, I love the Innisfree Brow <laughs> Automatic Brow Pencil. I kind of, I don't know where this cap is, but as you can tell, it's a duo ended. So it comes with the product basically in the top and it's a pencil. I love how it's kind of a long wedge. So it kind of fits into your eyebrow really well. And then you can use the other side, which is more of a spoolie to brush through your eyebrows. And I love this because it's only like $6. I went to Innisfree. I like Innisfree. I don't know. I've been really, I, mean, I went to Korea to see the Innisfree store and everything like that. And here as well. And I just love the store. It's just, you just feel like you're in like Korean countryside. I love it. But anyway, um, this is a really good brow pencil because it's basically the perfect texture that you need. Something that is not dry but not overly creamy and cakey. It just glides and draws your eyebrows really smoothly. I tried a lot of mascaras in 2015 and my favorite is something I'm returning to time and time again. It is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara. I love this. It's my favorite department store brand kind of mascara because um, it has a really big wand like so but don't be scared of it because basically you can uh, you can use the tapered edge to get those small little areas but I love it because it is a slightly drier formula so for me curling my lashes is actually really important just having an, a suitable curl and it's really hard with other wetter formulas and this one I feel is the best for giving me volume and curls. My top liquid foundation picks of 2015 is first the Shiramura Light Bulb Foundation. I love this, really, I really do. This is my favorite liquid foundation, I think, across all the other brands right now because it is really good in terms of giving you a beautiful natural glow, but it also provides you a really nice coverage. And when you put this on, it really makes your skin look super, I don't know, glowy, super fresh. I really like this foundation. I repurchased this actually, and it was like $70 to repurchase. Um, but I did reach a purchase this and I think when I finish I will be purchased again the cop the most common color across everybody is usually 554 medium sand okay moving on is this one which is a slightly more affordable version it is the Clio kill cover realist wear moist foundation I also use this one and I also find that it really has a perfect texture where it gives you really nice coverage but makes you super super flawless still and not so like suffocatingly flawless like some other foundations can give you it looks still like your skin um, and you can like apply it in streaks and then blend it if you want a more natural coverage but it's a really good foundation so these are really kind of two solid picks that you can go out and I kind of like the glowy fresh look not overly glowy like oily but just still fresh okay so I think in 2015 we saw the advent of a lot of new trends and things that I thought were really cool um, obviously one of them is that BB cushion trend that everybody was talking about and for me the BB cushions 
were like the best invention in beauty since I don't know when um, because I have been such a firm believer in BB cushions. I just love them so much and if you haven't heard of them, basically they are this compact case like this and when you open up, mine's really dirty by the way, you have this sponge and then you have this sponge with the product inside um, and the product inside isn't just, I feel, like I've seen a lot of videos trying to make your own BB cushions. I don't think it is really just squeezing this into the um, sponge. I really think that the liquid inside the sponge is actually a thinner liquid. So when you apply it, it looks very even and the coverage is really good. And I feel like in this weather, because it's so hot and humid all the time, you kind of need something very thin, but still like really good coverage and evenly applied so that it doesn't feel super greasy and everything like that. So I have been loving this. It's the IOPE XP cover. You've seen me wear this in so many tutorials, I think. And I also like the Laneige Pore Control. The blue one, not the white one, the blue one. And I've used the blue one for like, I think I've finished like four of them. So um, basically what it is, is uh, what you do is you get this sponge here. And mine says Clio because the sponge is the only thing I don't like about BB cushions. They can get really unhygienic and you have to wash them and things like that. So I kind of threw away the, the IOPE one and put in a new one. And this is from a BB cushion I didn't really like, the Clio one. And so then you flip this open and you press this in and then you just touch up your face. And I love this because you don't, you can, you can skip basically your, um, when you touch up your powder and everything like that, you can seriously just bring this on the go and then just touch up your face and not worry about it creasing, not worry about you sweating it off. It just is a really great thing. I love it. The best concealer I thought in 2015 about all the brands I've tried is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It looks like this. I love the packaging and I found this to be just such a unique formula because it's very thin, like weightless. It actually is weightless and it provides really, really, you really great coverage also. But again, I don't have very bad under eye circles, so I'm not so sure. Across like most of my clients and also myself, um, I put this on and it covers everything that I needed to cover without adding weight, without adding um, a bunch of creasing and everything like that. I find it is very much the thinnest and best concealer that I tried in 2015. Okay, so let's talk about blush and bronzer. In terms of bronzer, I have always been such a firm believer in Huva by Benefit. And um, that is still my favorite. And I also have been trying the Too Faced Chocolate Solil Bronzer. Solil Bronzer. But I feel like those are things that they're good, but they're not like, oh my gosh, amazing. Let's put this in the video. So I'm not going to mention that, but something that I will mention in terms of blush is obviously this. It is the Too Faced Love Flush blush and to be honest this is the most perfect packaging of 2015. I just love it because it just reminds me of Polly Pocket and my sister used to play Polly Pocket with me back in the day when we were really little and it just reminds me of Polly Pocket and I love how it's like a smooth love lovely blush and the blush is actually I'm wearing it today this one is in love hangover and it actually is really good it blends really nicely on the skin and provides pretty decent coverage as well and yeah i really like this blush in terms of quality the packaging all of it is a pretty much solid product offering and stay tuned to the end of this video because i might I might be giving one away skincare in 2015 was something quite cool for me uh, because i got rid of my acne and in the next video in a coming video, the next video, I will talk about how I got rid of all my acne and as you guys know, I've said it countless times again, you see my lips flake for God's sakes, is uh, basically I've been on Accutane. So um, I will talk about my entire Accutane story and all the side effects that I got taking that medication. It's the Bio Essence Miracle Bio Water Jelly Makeup Remover. It's paraben free, color free and non-greasy and it removes makeup. Love this. Um, I really felt like it helps to remove any makeup. I just um, used like a dry face. Like if I were to just take my makeup off now, I wouldn't rinse my skin first. I would just straight away apply this and just rub, 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 and then I just rinse the entire thing off. And this is actually pretty good. It's about $25.90, so I think it is a little steep for a drugstore, maybe. Um, but it's it's really good. So I it reminds it. It helps me not like tug my skin and 
use a bunch of like ugh, use a bunch of cotton and everything like that. And then a dupe for that is the Eversoft 100% Organic Cucumber Cleansing Jelly. I love this as well. I finished it. Unfortunately, I've been using it like all of it, but um, I'm gonna go repurchase. I would repurchase this instead of the Bio Essence. I think it is cheaper. Um, I've been returning to good old Vaseline. Okay, I know that this is probably a very boring product. This has been the ultimate lifesaver when it comes to having acetate. The biggest side effect when I take Accutane is basically my, uh, my, my legs and my hands break out in dry skin. When I say break out, I have eczema, like Accutane induced eczema. But my boyfriend had uh, the eczema like on the hands, like here, like really bad. And he tried like bio oil, tried so many things, like even went to doctors and everything like that. And then because Vaseline helped me with my like, uh, my legs and my hands and everything like that. Um, I told him to coat it in Vaseline, and it literally like transformed 180 degrees. I was like, oh my gosh, I love the Vaseline. So yay for Vaseline! I, it's something that I just rediscovered, and I I can't do without. Okay, the ultimate lifesaver in 2015 for me in terms of hair is not some really expensive Crustus kind of thing. It is the Watsons. Hair Pro by Watson's, by Watson's Heat Active Treatment. Oh my gosh, this saved my life. Look how big it is. This is my second bottle and I'm already down to here. This is the best conditioner if you have damaged hair in the whole world. It helped me so much. Before I used this, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Seriously, my hair was like super damaged and like, crispy and gross and every time I washed my hair it would come into this huge knot so it was so bad and it was really unhealthy and then Watson's gave this to me to try and I was just oh my gosh it solved my life problems seriously my hair did not tangle after the shower it just became great so today I'm giving away the Too Faced Love Flush Blush I know. I'm so excited for you. This one is in Your Love is King. And um, I will open it up for you to see what you want to look, look like. It's like this. It's gorgeous color. Ta-da! And it's such a beautiful dusty rose in the pan. If you want to win the Too Faced Love Flush Blush, just um, go ahead and follow the directions below. All you have to do is follow my Instagram at Bloom Find a picture of this and enter on that picture. It's just easier that way. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to read your entries for this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!